Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we talk everything about designs. Today's video, we're going to talk about the 10 most popular plugins on Figma. So you might be asking like, how do I know the 10 most popular plugins? Well, there's a website that is called Figstats, as you can see here. This website has a complete list of the plugins and the widget data. So the number of installs per day, the number of runs and the comments, likes and things like that. So it's a complete list of the stats of Figma plugins and widgets. So definitely check it out. So jumping back to the topic, let's jump right out of the video and see what are these 10 most popular plugins. So starting off with number one, we have Iconify and this plugin lets you search for and insert icons from a range of different icon libraries. With over 100k icons to choose from, this plugin is an absolute must have for any designer who gets started on Figma. Next up, we have Unsplash and this plugin allows you to search and insert high quality stock photos directly into your Figma project. This saves a ton of time and helps you to find the perfect image for your design without having to leave the Figma interface. Coming in at number 3, we have Material Design Icons. As the name suggests, this plugin provides you access to the complete library of Material Design Icons. And this is particularly useful for designers working on apps or websites with a Material Design asset. Number 4 on our list is RemoBG. And this plugin allows you to quickly and easily remove the background from any image directly in Figma. So this is a huge time saver for designers who want to quickly remove the background of the images on their projects. At number 5, we have Content Reel. This plugin allows you to create dynamic data-driven design by pulling content from external sources like Google Sheets or Airtable. And this is particularly useful for designing dashboards or presentations that require up-to-date data. Number 6 on the list is Lorem Epsom. I'm pretty sure you might have seen this word on a lot of designs. Well, this is a plugin which generates dummy text for your design, saving you a lot of time and effort of finally typing out these placeholder texts. Well, I wouldn't say this is a must-have plugin, but it definitely saves you time when you just are in a hurry. Because you have tools like ChatGPT which can create content relevant to your design, so that is more better to use. Coming in at number 7, we have Icons 8. And this plugin provides you access to a library of high-quality icons that you can use in your designs with over 140k icons to choose from this plugin is a great resource for any designer number eight on the list is autoflow this plugin automates the process of creating flowcharts and diagrams by allowing you to easily connect shapes and boxes together this can also be frames in case of user flows and this is a huge time saver for designers who need to create these complex diagrams or flowcharts at number 9, we have Feather Icons, and this plugin provides you access to a library of lightweight, customizable icons that can be easily inserted directly into your designs, and these icons are perfect for a minimalistic look. And last but not the least, at number 10, we have Mockup, and this plugin allows you to quickly and easily create mockups for your design in a range of different devices and environments. This is a great way to showcase your designs to client or stakeholders. And there you have it folks, the 10 most popular plugins on Figma. I hope you found this video helpful and do let me know in the comments below which other plugins that you actually think should be on this top 10 popular list because I definitely think there are some amazing underrated plugins that should be on this list. So make sure to let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy designing.